standing. A righteous woman. But before she is born, her mother, the Quran teaches, vowed to give to God. I imagine this. To give to God this gift that she has from God in his service. And she made a special prayer, a special prayer, saying, Oh God, please protect what's inside of me and the progeny from the accursed Satan. However, she thought a man, a boy, a male, baby would be inside, but it was not. It was a female. And she said that the male is not like the female. And Allah says he knows. Because you know, sometimes we want something so bad. And we think that this is the way it should be. Yet God knows better. God knows better. So he gave her Mary. She called her Mary. And such she fulfilled the covenant that this girl, Mary, was raised in a religious spirit, worshiping God, believing in God. Now think about it. We need to think about ourselves, our families today, in today's world, and how we raise our kids. We need to draw the blood and look at this child who's been brought up in a family, a righteous family. And the beautiful thing, how we believe as Muslims, we need to believe this. As Mary made, as the mother Mary made the prayer that they should be protected from the accursed Satan, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that none of the silent act, none of the children that are born, that they are born without being pinched by Satan. Being pinched by Satan when they're born. Satan's angry. Except. Except who? Jesus and Mary. Why? Sometimes some of my friends try to bring this and say, no, they're special. I say, yes, of course they're special. Of course they are. Because their mother, the mother of Mary, named this Pilar. And guess who accepted it? It was Allah. It was God who makes this. It's God who gives these special privileges to people. No one gets it from themselves, brothers and sisters. We need to understand that. From the mental law, no one brings it from themselves. So such Mary was being brought. And I want you to think of Mary as a youth, worshiping God in the temple. And draw an analogy. Because God says in God that she protected herself. And look at Mary and draw an analogy to our Muslim sisters. Mashallah, we have some young sisters here. Modest, being raised with modesty, covering, covering their beauty. And thing how Mary was described. Not just from the Islamic point of view. Think of the so-called historical paintings of Mary. Is she portrayed wearing a mink skirt? Is she portrayed wearing so and so, such and such clothes? No. Actually, if you would put any of our young sisters next to that picture, you would find a perfect match for us. Yes, it? So we need to think again. I want you to think why? Because I'm going to get later on to a question, a very fundamental question, as to following Jesus, following the example of Asa, of Jesus, peace be upon following the example of Mary. So think about that. Piety, modesty, virginity, these were the traits of Mary. And she used to go and worship. And her custody fell by God's will into the hands of Zachariah. And he 
used to take care of her as, her, as his own. And she used to, used to walk on her and see her praying while she was providing, God says, with fruits. In the winter, fruits from summer. In the summer, fruits from winter. This was a miracle. So I would ask her, Damn, how? How do you get this? What are you doing? This is from Allah, from God. He provides to whom He wills. God bless you. Keep that in mind because I'm going to keep going. I'm going to show you this special nature in Islam, this special status in Islam, but I'm going to keep telling you that where is it coming from? Allah, from God. I keep doing that throughout tonight's session. One of those nights, when she was praying, something happened. I want you to picture, visualize this time. She's by herself, and all of a sudden, a man appears. This is a woman who's been guarding her chastity, her modesty for all her life, praying to God, worshiping God. Not a club, go alone girl, not a girl who just goes and no. This is a woman who guarded her modesty and chastity. So this man appears, and Allah says in the Quran there was an angel. And Mary, what does she say? Does she say, I am Allah, or something? You know, my uncle's here, I have a bad, a feathers person? No. What does she say? She says, if you fear God, stay away. Don't come to me. He says, don't worry, don't fear. I'm a messenger from your Lord to give you the glad tidings, to deliver to you a purified son. Who? Jesus. Now, imagine. This is something strange. She's never been touched. So she says, how can I have a son? I've never been touched by a man. I love you and chase. How can I have a son? Logically, she's asking the logical question. What is she saying? Allah does what He wills. He can do whatever, whatever He wants. Imagine. This is called what our friends call immaculate conception. Right? She was conceiving without no man ever touching her. A miracle. There is no Muslim. No one is a Muslim unless they believe in this. So look how many things we have in common. Look how many things we have in common just up and down. And many more. But our friends might say now, wait a second. You know, no father, just a mother. Jesus is born miraculously. Don't you think that's a proof for what we believe? You know, the same question was posed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by his Christian neighbors, his Christian friends, the Christians from Najah. So God revealed to him, I mean, just, just look at the best explanation. Who has better words, who can speak better than God himself. Think about it. Because people use this sometimes as a group to say, well, Jesus is special. Isn't he God or the Son of God? Because he's born from God and you know, the man and mother Mary. God says, the likeness of Jesus is like the likeness of Adam. Created him from dust. He said, and be and was. God is the one who has made Jesus. Jesus didn't come of himself. Jesus didn't come of himself. It's God. It's our Lord who made Isa. He just said to him to be and he was. Now, think about 
there. All of a sudden, she's pregnant. No one touched her. She's in a community. What do what do people think? What do people think? Imagine today we have a daughter. She comes pregnant. What do you think? The same thing that people thought at that time. So, Jesus is born. Mary is in her pains. She's being drawn to the palm tree. She's sitting down. She's paining. Giving birth. And from under her, the voice tells her, Don't worry. Don't worry. Shake the palm tree, take some dates, and drink some water. That's from under you. Now, I thought about this a lot, actually. And then we did some research, and so much of us did some research. And for the sisters who delivered, they are a lot less than are the women who have to go through this. When you do this, that's a miracle. When you are in the hospital, you don't give it. Sometimes to help with the with the the uh, the delivery, you give them water. Water, this blue Mary, okay, right? That's what I'm about to water. You give it glucose, which is in the dates that she had to hit the pump. God could have just said, no. Teaching us a lesson that you have to do what we call the seven. You need to do things. So he told her, shake the palm tree. And the days fell. The water's there. Same as it's given in half of today. The days you have the glucose that's given in the half of today when our sister delivered. Think about it. And then dates also contain something, a hormone called oxytocin, which helps contractions. Who can I just come and say that, you know, let's think about, you know, making up this. This verse, or who, who can know this information if it's not from God? These are things that have only been discovered. I want to highlight this point. To think about it. So, she moves with a baby, a newborn baby, in her arms to her people. And the people, they say, Oh, Mary. Oh, sister, again. Yeah. I used to use this term to show his status. We didn't know your father to be a such, 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 and your mother to be a such, such, such. What are you doing? How can you have a son? You're not married. What are you doing? Judging her. What? She points to who? Did she defend herself? Is that all I want? No, she points to the baby, the people. How is that? How do you speak to some of the things? How? But Jesus is the one who says, I am the Lord. I am the servant of God. Now imagine, people are sitting there, accusing, and all of a sudden, this baby speaks. To what? To clear the picture, to clear the character, the honor,